name's Wreck It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! 30 years I've been doing this. I can fix it! It's hard to love your job when no one else seems to like you for doing it. You're just the bad guy who wrecks the building. Ah! I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought this Good. was fantastic. Uh, I wanted to begin by asking you guys, how familiar were you both with the world of video games and sort of all the little Easter eggs and references that were in the script? Not at all. <laughs> and and she leaves. <laughs> Uh, I used to play video games back in the day. I'm talking like Atari 2600, the more primitive ones. Um, and so those were a little more recognizable, of course. It gets into the more like, you know, dragons that shoot fireballs and uh, Mortal Kombat kind of things that were a little out of my league because I'm like, oh, where are the funny Burger Time characters? <laughs> Burger Time, yeah, yeah. Well, you got Q-Berts in this. We got and, Q-Berts. Yeah. We, got, yeah, we, got, we, got, we run the gamut, if you will, but uh, some are a little more recognizable than others do. Yeah. <laughs> Jade, did you have to do any research? Did you play like... I probably should have, but I didn't. You didn't? <laughs> <laughs> like many things, Did you just feel like you knew in. this character? Yeah, I still want, you know, I start with the person. It, it, in the beginning of this, I thought, oh, I've got to research video games. And then it was like, I was three months into it, and I went, <laughs> um, you know, you're playing a character, you're uh, bringing to life somebody's, you know, a story that these animators wrote about this person, and, um, you know, that's where I start with it. And, you know, I play a cheerleading coach on TV, I know nothing about your <laughs> 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 Or <laughs> acting. Yeah, right. Or acting. So you're not a method actor. There's no, no method no, involved. No, I don't need to immerse myself. She stumbled myself. onto a set. <laughs> it's like John Go Gielgud said to Dustin Hoffman when he was pulling out his own teeth for the marathon, and he said, you should try acting, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, let me ask you about your characters, because when they first meet in the film, uh, certainly uh, your character doesn't necessarily like Felix, uh, they don't get along, but then love is in the air. Of course. So tell me a little bit about that relationship. Well, uh, I know that when I go into Hero's Duty and meet Sergeant Calhoun for the first time, it is like nothing I've ever seen or experienced. So there's a lot of things going on with old little Felix here. Um, but then it's just a matter of trying to get the same thing out of Calhoun, which, like in any sort of relationship, can be a challenge. <laughs> yeah, you know, she's shut down. She has uh, she has a huge heartbreak, and she feels responsible for the, we'll get into the, the you can see the movie to see the backstory, but she feels responsible for the loss of a loved one, and um, so she's always on the defense, and she's always looking around, making sure the side bugs aren't coming, and she will not be fooled again, and she will not let her heart be broken again. So she's she stays pretty cold and pretty mean, and, uh, you know, kind of... Until little Felix warms that old your chestnut. heart. Yeah, right. Until he, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Fix it, Felix. Fixes exactly. that broken heart. <laughs> exactly. Well, yes. yeah. He does. He does. He fixes the broken heart. Very good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you also about uh, recording. I know you both have done animation before, and sometimes they separate you from the other actors and recorders, mm -hmm. but this mm -hmm. time you guys got to really act with each other. Is that correct? We did. We there did. were a couple of sessions where we got to be in the same room with mm -hmm. each other, and I thought it was really fun. Um, mm -hmm. You're able to play off the energy that they're giving you and, and you know you might go in with one mindset of how the scene's gonna go but then you're throwing a few curveballs and like it's fun to just react to that kind of stuff right we have we uh, did Second City and we, we like imp improvisation and you know so it's always fun to have another um, uh, body in the room so you're not yes. just you know yeah. Yelling at a microphone. Right, exactly. <laughs> hoping this makes sense. <laughs> well, and I love the casting of this film because it feels like everyone, it, not just you two, but also John and, and Sarah. But like yeah. mostly us two. But, but mostly also you guys. <laughs> That's okay. You don't, you don't even have to say I, You know, we're not going to name that. Yeah. But you two are so brilliant. You, <laughs> Thank but really, you. The, did you feel when you read these characters, like yes. you suited the characters, the characters they, suited you? You know what happened, too, is we, we've been talking about this all day. We started out with a particular script, and then uh, they cast us, and we did a reading of it, and then they cast us. And every week it sounded more and more like us. Yes. And that and, just that's a yeah. testament to the writing, to, to the, the writing. direction, to mm -hmm. all of that things. Uh, because it really they wrote nailed to our that voice. dialogue. It made it so easy and so fun for us, yeah. too. Yeah. Do you think the thing about this film is the fact that Ralph's sort of a loner, sort of an outcast, and that audiences will be able to kind of relate to that? I mean, everyone could kind of relate to that feeling of being outcast. Yeah, right? well, yeah, I think that's a powerful um, uh, that's a, a powerful character for a movie. But also, he's a, I think people relate to the fact he's in a job, a role, in a game that won't allow him to evolve. Yeah. So he takes the chance and he jumps his game. And I think it's kind of a lesson for life. If you don't like what you're doing, you know, no one's going to light your fire, right? Because yeah. you said you, you've got to light it yourself and, uh, you know, take a chance. And and he did. He jumped his game. Yeah. Awesome. Last thing, Jack, could you talk a little Q-Bert for us? 
So it's hard to get a little or a little. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and you didn't have to go to school and study a foreign language or anything. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies, the kitten whispers and tickle fights stop now. When did video games become so violent and scary? Are you a hobo? Listen, I try to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. You're mimicking You're me. You're mimicking me. That is rude, <laughs> and this I'm, conversation is over. This conversation is over. I get a good feeling, yeah.